Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about encrypting a share on a Synology NAS, and I'll put a link in the description of my playlist on Synology. I've done a lot of other videos on Synology. I'll also put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So to get started, we'll go into the control panel, and we'll click on shared folder. So I have a bunch of shared folders already set up here. I want to go to create, and I'll type a name. I'll type in encrypted folder. I'll click next. And then it says encrypt this shared folder. So I'll, if I click this, it'll ask me for a password. So I'll type a password in. So what this will require now is that I type this password in anytime you want to mount this, unless you have it automatically mount on boot. And I'll get into that in a minute. I'll click next. I'll click next again. And I'll click apply. So we have a note here that says that you need the key to access the data, that performance can be decreased, you can't use it through NFS, and you're limited on your file names, your folder names. So it says, do you want to continue? I'll click yes. So it's asking who can have permission. I'll just give it to myself. I'll hit OK. And here we have the encrypted folder set up, and you'll see it's unlocked. So while we're doing that, you may have noticed a little flash on the screen. It downloaded a key to my downloads folder. So this is the key to unlock that folder. So you really should put this in a safe place or delete it off your computer. Um, you don't want to just, you don't want to forget about it and then have someone find it later and be able to decrypt your folder. So I'll minimize this. I'll go into file station. I'll open up the encrypted folder. And now we can move files to this. I'll just drag this image in. Okay, so I have this image reflections.jpg in the encrypted folder. So this is stored in an encrypted fashion on the Synology NAS. But right now it's unlocked. So if someone else was on the system, if they had permission, they could go in here and get to this. So you would want to go back to your control panel and go to the encrypted folder and you can right click on this, go down to encryption and say unmount. And it says, are you sure you want to unmount the shared folder? I'll click yes. So you see this is locked now. So if I minimize this, I'll go back to file station. And you see it's not available now because I've unmounted it. So I'll go back to the share. So say I want to access that data, I can go to encryption and then say mount. It'll ask me for my password. You can also import that encryption key that we um, it downloaded to our computer. I'll hit OK here. And now the folder is available again. If we go back into file station, we can click this and we see our reflections.jpg. So the way this is set up right now is if I rebooted this Synology NAS and say this was unlocked, when I rebooted, this would be locked and you wouldn't be able to get into it. So you can have it automatically mount on boot. So if you go up here to action, you can go to key manager and you'll have to set this up the first time. I've already set it up. I'll go to configure here so you can see what it would have said. So it says key store location, we have system partition, or I have this SATA share, and this is an external hard drive. So you can install it on the Synology NAS itself, or you can install it on an external storage um, device, like a USB stick. And that'd be the preferred way to do it, is to store the encrypted data on the system, and then store the key on a, you know, a stick or something. And if you did that, like say we stored it on this SATA share, you can say eject device after boot. So what it will do is it will boot the system, it will use the key on the USB drive to mount the partition, and then it will eject itself essentially. But for demonstration purposes, I'm leaving it to system partition. So I'll hit okay there. I'll click add, and it'll say shared folder, encrypted folder. Cipher is machine key, and then enter encryption key. So I'll enter my key here. I'll hit OK. And now we have the encrypted folder machine key and we can click mount on boot. And I'll hit OK. So now if we rebooted this, this would mount this automatically. So the downside of that is that um, someone could get into that drive and get the key and mount this pretty easily. So it's not super secure. So the most secure way would be if you ever reboot it would be to go in here and then actually add the password in each time. So if you're concerned about having your data encrypted in case someone stole your Synology NAS, 
you might be able to stick a thumb drive into the USB port. Um, you might actually put an extension cable in there and then hide the USB key somewhere, um, say on your rack somewhere, zip tie it, kind of hidden location. So if someone unplugged everything and stole the um, Synology NAS, then they wouldn't have that key. Or if they just ripped the drives out and took them, then they don't have that key. So that might be a safer way to do it. But I don't want you to use this video as the sole way you learn about encryption and how to encrypt your NAS. So that's all for this video. In a future video, I'll talk about accessing this folder from your computer in an encrypted way. So if you have any questions in the meantime, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.